Hello everyone, it's Hexis here. We have a new orange crown artifact. It's called the Thunderbolt crown and today we will take a look at all its stats and I will give you my opinion on it. So let's start with where you can get this artifact. At the moment there is the treasure hunts path event running uh, from which you can get a total of 10 artifact fragments if you buy the superior reward by spending 8 euros or 7 dollars. And then if you go to the packs and choose the limited section there are also some fragments available to buy as you see here. That's the total of 124 fragments available to buy under the 9th of September. There was also an option to buy the 20 fragments directly to just unlock the artifact on the day of its relief. And if I remember correctly, it was 17.5 euros, which is slightly more expensive than when you buy it from two treasure hunt events. And of course, the non-spending option is to get the artifact fragments from Mystic Conjure using the gold coins. And so that's another artifact in the pool, influencing the drop rate of the already existing artifacts as well. So let's hold that there will be another update to make use of those extra artifact fragments we don't need anymore. Okay, now let's see what this artifact does. The base stats increase the attack of your archers and mages by 6%. It's not really that attractive when attacking other castles since the current meta is all about damage stats. However, that's now an extra boost while doing your events like Undead King or Fiend Trial, especially since you don't have to switch artifacts in your array to make use of these crown artifacts. Now the second and third stars are good ones in my opinion. One is reducing hit points of all the enemy troops and the third star is increasing your angel attack and finally something for increasing our angel tech. The fourth and fifth star are in that grade though because one is enemy troops attack reduction and the other one is just increasing the hit points of your archers and mages. I mean our main focus is to improve the hit points of our front lines rather than our back lines because the back lines are not that strong in hit points anyways so there is no point in increasing that especially for an orange artifact the fifth star having that boost is not really that attractive. Then the artifact becomes effective again with a 6 star upgrade. However, I think it's not really worth it to focus extra to develop it that further because it takes a lot of artifact experience and also lots of fragments to get an orange artifact to the maxed out star levels and you can use that for improving your other artifacts instead. The red skill for the artifact which unlocks at star level 3 is very nice though. At first glance, it might look similar to the one we get on the fire demon's crown here, but it's not. On the fire demon's crown, the attack and damage of all your troops increase only when attacking enemy infantry and cavalry. So that includes angels damage increase as well. And on the new thunderbolt crown, the attack and damage of only archers and mages increase, but it's against all enemy troops. I would say both red skills are just amazing to have and would recommend to develop both artifacts at least until third star to get these skills, especially for those 4.8% damage dealt just at level one. And if you want to know the maximum value for these red skills, it will be 15% increase in attack of your archers and mages and also 12% increase in the damage dealt by them. So what do you think of this new artifact? Have any of you already got it? Let me know in the comments below along with any suggestions you have for my videos and see you all on the live stream on Sunday 9am server time. Goodbye guys.